And so as we move into the last three minutes of this lightweight final, Jerry Hamill of Northern Ireland really only has to keep on doing what he's been doing in the first two rounds, moving easily and picking off his man with the left to pick up Northern Ireland's second gold medal of these boxing championships. Barry McGuigan, their bantamweight, perhaps a bit luckily, has picked up a gold medal already, and Hamill is on the way to doing the same thing here against Patrick Waweru of Kenya. Hamill, much more experienced internationally than this 18-year-old Kenyan. Hamill, 23, accustomed to boxing in top class now for many years. He had a tremendous battle in the Montreal Olympics with Rusevsky of Yugoslavia. He lost that uh, particular bout, but it was touch and go whether he won it. The best Northern Ireland have ever done at this weight was Jim Jordan's silver medal at the 1958 Games in Cardiff. That's the Kenyan's corner. I'm told to keep quiet by the Ghanaian referee, Teofilio Quay. And it's been noticeable in previous bouts here in Edmonton that uh, Hamill has tended to come quite firmly towards the end and just put the finishing touches to his contest. But this time it looks as though Wawero is applying the pressure. Now, Hamill's left hand can be the winning weapon here. There's no doubt about that. He scored consistently with it. And Wawero's uh, successes have been few and far between, really. For the most part, his punches are not landing on the target area, being made to miss. And Hamill just needs to keep it going. Under a minute left. So Waweru finishes attacking, but still missing. And it seems to me that Jerry Hamill of Northern Ireland, 23 years old, has done enough to win a gold medal. The judges from Australia, England, Canada, New Zealand and Ghana will have to decide that one. We'll see what they make of it. Jerry Hamill makes it two goals for Northern Ireland. Majority points decision. The judges from Australia, England, and Canada vote for him. Those from New Zealand and Ghana against him. So Jerry Hamill makes it a double in these championships in goals for Northern Ireland to follow up Barry McGuigan's success. Two goals and already a bronze for Northern Ireland and they've still got one more man to come. the gold medalist at lightweight despite a lot of booing from this crowd Jerry Hamill of Northern Ireland who was disqualified in the Commonwealth Games four years ago but has more than made up for that now that's Northern Ireland's first ever gold medal at lightweight in the Commonwealth Games the runner-up silver medalist Patrick Wawero gets his silver medal from John Castle of Australia one of the leading lights of the International Amateur Boxing Association. And the two bronze medalists at this weight, one from Scotland, John McAllister. 
McAllister was beaten by Waweru in the semi-finals. And the other bronze medalist, Teddy Makofi of Zambia, whom Jerry Hamill be beat in the semis. Ladies and Final chance then for Beatty to make it a triple gold night for Northern Ireland in these boxing finals in the Edmonton Gardens. Beatty of Northern Ireland, McCallum of Jamaica. Jamaica have never won a medal before at this weight. And they only, only ever won one gold medal in boxing ever in the Commonwealth Games. McCallum now consistently coming forward, flinging those long arms and getting through. Beachy trying to make a counterpunch tell, but it's difficult. McCallum has been Jamaican champion four times. A lot of international experience. And nearly always, of course, has this tremendous reach advantage against his opponents. This is the 10 stone 8 division. And McCallum stands six feet tall. Beatty's sticking very bravely to the task. But it's looking like a pretty hopeless proposition now. Low one from McCallum. Well, if the dreams of triple gold are vanishing, it'll still be Northern Ireland's best ever effort at this weight in the Commonwealth Games, the best they've ever done before at welterweight as a bronze medal. Well, the story of that was the enormous reach of McCallum and Beatty looking a little worse for wear as he goes back to the corner and knowing surely that he'll have to settle for silver. Michael McCallum of Jamaica, unanimous decision, takes the gold medal at Welter and Kenny Beatty of Northern Ireland will take the silver and so Northern Ireland wind up their boxing program in these Commonwealth Games with two golds, a silver and a bronze. A marvellous performance from a team of seven.